Hi, I'm Vilos, author of the book Your First Kickstarter campaign. In this video, you will learn how to build a media list of relevant journalists and bloggers who write about your niche. Reaching out to journalists and bloggers begins with building a media list. It's a simple spreadsheet with details of people who write about your niche. Here is an example of one of my media lists. It includes full name, email, which is actually the best channel to pitch journalists, URL or website of the media outlet, keyword that may be the name of your competitor or specific phrase that describes your product, a relevant article or post written by the journalist and related to your niche, and you should also know the time zone of the journalist. It is important because the majority of journalists prefer to be pitched in the morning in their time zone, so schedule your email accordingly. There is an article in BuzzStream which concludes results based on interviews with 500 writers and editors. Uh, you'll find a link to this article in the course material. And there is one interesting fact that I want to share with you. As you can see here, 69% of journalists prefer to be pitched in the morning. Let's get back to our media list. Next, there is Twitter account. Quite often you can find a lot of useful information there. Let's check this one. This is Twitter profile of Jennifer Jolie. As you can see, she publicly displays her email address. She writes about tech, consumer tech. These are the media outlets where she writes. We can also see her city based on which we will find her time zone. There is even her birthday. And finally, you may look at her Twitter timeline just to get a sense of her personality. So I guess you got idea. Getting back to our media list, next you can add some notes about that person. You may copy the description from journalists, Twitter profile, publisher's bio, or just write a few words of what you think is important for them. By knowing the areas of interest for the specific journalists, you'll be able to create a more personalized email and add a simple personal touch. And finally, global rank. It shows the weight of a portal in the global context. You can find it on similar web. Let's take TechCrunch as an example. Uh, we can see that its global rank is 4,729 and it has 14.4 million visits per month. We can even compare it with another competing media portal. Let's say Engadget. As you can see, Engadget has an even higher global rank and almost twice more visits. If you get published on the top tier media outlets with a high global rank, such as Huffington Post, Mashable, TechCrunch, Business Insider, BBC, and so on, the news may spread on its own because smaller portals or blogs quite often aggregate information from the bigger ones. However, I wouldn't recommend relying only on big portals because the competition between startups who want to pitch their ideas to big media outlets is very tight and the probability that you will appear there is extremely low. So it's very important to add niche bloggers who are small enough to care about you and large enough to be worthwhile to you. You should start with the following steps. First, create a media list of at least 200 contacts that are relevant to your niche. Of course, 200 is an example that I recommend, but it can also be 100 if your niche is very narrow or 500 if there are lots of media outlets that cover your topic. Next, make a short list of top 20 journalists and bloggers. They should have a significant reach of your target audience and be relevant to your niche. This will be your top priority and you'll have to go the extra mile to build relationship with them. Give them more attention by following them on social media, commenting on their articles, subscribing to their newsletter, or sending them an email with a compliment that you like their recent article. In the next lecture, I'll give you even more ideas on how you can show your attention. And finally, automate the outreach to the rest of the list. I recommend creating a media list based on similar Kickstarter campaigns. You already learned how to analyze similar crowdfunding campaigns in the second section of this course. If some journalist already wrote about a similar crowdfunding project, there is a big chance that he or she would be interested in another story related to the same niche. Let's take this project, Makeway, as an example. The first method is to use a search engine. Let's enter Makeway Kickstarter to Google. First, we can see an ad that links to their Kickstarter campaign. Here is their actual Kickstarter campaign. Uh, here is a link to the backer kit. This one looks like a media portal. So let's click on this. We can see that this article was written by Grace Ebert. 
Let's enter those details that we know to our media list. Copy the link of this article. Enter URL. Enter journalist's full name. Unfortunately, I can't click on journalist's name. There is no link to her profile. So I'll have to use another way to find her email. In the second part of this lecture, I will share a few simple methods how to find email of any professional.